Well, I think there's been there's been some positive uh, conversation that's come out of it. I know on our team we've had uh, a fantastic uh, team meeting where we kind of talked about a lot of things, things I'm not going to talk about because it's it's meant for just a locker room. But I think there's been uh, a great uh, sense of unity and love and support uh, in this locker room, guys coming together. Outside the building, I think there's um, the message has been uh, diluted a little bit, and, and it's been kind of taken away from from what uh, what we were trying to do: show a united front, um, guys linking up together. There's been a lot of hatred on uh, my social media, probably other people's social medias, I'm sure as well. Um, frankly, don't understand it. Uh, a lot of it. It's never been about uh, the military or our men and women in uniform. Like I said, after the game, we love and support them. And each of us, I'm sure, have done either, you know, charity events for them. I've been to, you know, Fort Wainwright in Alaska and done PT with, uh, with those guys at, at 5 in the morning, and, and we love them. I mean, we're thankful for the, the opportunity they give us. This is about equality. This is about unity and love and growing together as a society and starting a conversation around something that may be a little uncomfortable for people. But we gotta come together and talk about these things and grow as a, as a, as a community, as a connected group of individuals in our society. And we're gonna to continue to show love and unity. And this week we're gonna ask the fans to join in as well. And come together and, and show people that we can be connected and we can grow together.